so I love being in bands. I loved touring. I was in a metal band throughout high school. We were called Gas Mask Catalog. One of my songs is, is named after the band. Um, and I was in a few other ones. Then then once YouTube started really working out, I toured with Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers and Driftless Pony Club, which are all um, comprised of other YouTubers and musicians. And, and I was fortunate enough to go on three tours with Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers and the rest. But within the band, I'm always on drums. All of those bands, I was on drums. And to me, the live, the live experience of playing a show is just best as the drummer. Like I've done quite a few. Yep, uh, that's a fact. Shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you would, you would that's agree. A fact. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. um, especially if you're playing an amplified drum kit in the venue, mm-hmm. like you hit that kick drum. If there's a mic on that kick, if there's, it's just like, yes, let's go. It's so sick. Yeah, like you're yeah. vibrating the entire building, and there's mm-hmm. something so like so awesome about that. Like when I when I played with Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers, that was also with uh, Andrew Huang and Paul and Joe to George and Hank Green, and the first show we ever did was in an arena, and oh. and before that, like the biggest show I had ever played was maybe for like twenty people. <laughs> and I, and so we get on we get in this arena show and I get behind the kit and like uh, you hit the snare or you hit everything the kit yeah yeah and thousands of people feel it in their chest Oof. and and just playing with your friends in a band live is just so much fun it's such an amazing experience but with me like me, as a musician I'm over overwhelmingly you know a guitar player and that same role of playing guitar in a band is something that you know I, I do enjoy, but it's not it's not the same as playing drums. <laughs> like, and I don't like being the center of attention in a room. If I'm being totally honest, like when I yeah played solo shows, like that was something I would get nervous every show, and it would be something I'd have to push myself through. And and once I actually got on stage or got or right when I got off stage, it would it'd be a different experience. But that same like nervousness and tension never really went away, and it wasn't always in an exciting way too like it's just a lot of nerves and being on drums and supporting the band and not being the lead vocalist that everyone's looking at is uh is a place that i'm a lot more comfortable with so yeah i've been in quite a few bands i've toured the u.s um on three like actual actual tours um mostly with hank green and the perfect strangers and i would open up as a solo artist and so I, i've had the the touring experience which is uh definitely a dream come true and was amazing but for me touring like i could i could never be a full-time touring musician it's just not i have so much respect for the musicians that do that and are out on the road for nine months a year but it's not a lifestyle that i can do it's absolutely not for me um it's not the career that i want and for me touring is like i did three tours and it's kind of like a bucket list thing like skydiving like cool i did it that was amazing i'm gonna remember yeah. this for the rest of my life but i i don't want to skydive nine months out of the year for my whole career you know yeah totally <laughs> touring is really rough like it's amazing but i don't have the energy for it um but and and i meet other people that are like professional touring musicians like paul and joe to george that are from that band they are like they're made to be touring musicians or like I've, I've been fortunate enough to film with Corey Taylor a few times and like just hanging out with Corey Taylor. Like it's clear that the stage is his natural habitat. Like, he's yeah. like he needs, he needs to be in front of thousands of people and he, there's just this like passion for it. But I just don't have that. Like for me making music or being creative is, is like, I, I like being able to just totally focus on something for a week and then put out the video and then never play that song again and just move on to something else. Mm-hmm. And I like sleeping in my own bed every night and I just don't have the energy to tour, man. It's, <laughs> it's, it's rough. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. Huh? I, yeah. I, I envy you cause I, I, my bucket list, one of my bucket list things is to play on a drum kit on like 
an arena or some sort of venue where it's all amplified. I, there could be nobody there. I don't care. It could be like a sound <laughs> sound check. I'm fine with the sound check. Just jamming out for a minute. But that's like one of my bucket list things to find out that you played at an arena. That's that's awesome. I even have a, a rolling kit in my attic and I set it to the arena setting sometimes. <laughs> yeah. and, and it just go boom, boom. Uh -huh. If I want to be like a John Bonham or when the levee breaks or something like that, you put it to arena and you get that echo, that <laughs> reverb. It sounds so sick. So I envy um, you for that. <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing feeling. Yeah, I've been extremely fortunate with that. Thanks to Hank for wanting me to be his drummer. Uh, yeah, it, it's an amazing experience. But the the touring lifestyle to me, if I was as passionate about performing live as I am about video, then I would definitely go through with it. But like touring is like, you know how much moving sucks? Like, <laughs> like you move your entire house when you tour you do that every single day <laughs> as true. a drummer too oh my god <laughs> yeah oh uh -huh. man that stinks being a drummer like that you just always moving everything and setting it up making it uh yeah it's tough and you get and you get sick and it's like other people can handle it and for me if i had like ideally for me if i toured like two months or not two months like two weeks out of the year i would love it but the lifestyle of always being on the road and essentially moving every single day, like getting up early, putting your entire life into a suitcase, bringing all your equipment, driving for six hours, getting to the venue, like going through sound check or setting up and going through sound check as soon as you get there and then the doors opening and then you have to find food and hopefully the venue <laughs> like got your food order in your rider um, and then you eat while the first band is playing and then you play the show and then you get back to the hotel at 1 a.m. and then you do it again for nine months. Like, uh, it's, well, that's kind of an extreme example, but, uh, that was every day on tour. And I just don't, it, it's not that I am, I, of course, not above it. I just literally, I don't have the energy for it. I'm not built for it. After two weeks, I am like, I can't, I can't do that every day. I, it's um, taxing. It's extremely taxing. And I get sick. Like every tour I get sick. And if you get sick, you just... Like you can't, you can't call in sick to that job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's amazing. And I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm, uh, I, I'm not saying that like touring is, is bad. They're like some of the, like touring, those three tours are like some of the greatest experiences of my life and hanging out with that entire crew that was part of those tours are like some of my best friends, but it's, it's just that I literally can't do it. It's like, if I was trying to be a pro skater, but like, I can't skate handrails. Like I just can't do it. I'm, I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not capable of doing it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not strong enough or, or uh, strong willed enough to be able to make it happen. But yeah. I, I have had those experiences and they're, they're amazing. Yeah. Like, yeah. like you said, game. your pat your, yeah. Like you said, your passion isn't there to your passions and videos. If your passion for videos was the same, you'd, you'd probably mm -hmm. be out there doing whatever you had to do, but your passion is in a different place and you had the experience and I completely agree that like, uh, I mean, at least for me, well, because like I have a history playing drums and, a, a, and like whatever, I just feel comfortable sitting back behind hiding behind the drum set while people stand up front, looking at everyone to get all the attention and the, and you know, drummy just hide in back there strong, but silent. It's nice. I like totally. that. It's a good, yeah. It's a yeah. perfect place for me on stage. And I, I go nuts on stage, like behind the kit. Mm -hmm. um, but I can, I feel a lot more comfortable doing also with the drums, dude, like on stage, I want to like move around and, and enjoy myself. And I mean, not that you can't do that on guitar, but like, I, I want to, on the guitar, like the frets are just so close together, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, here, here's a right note and then here's a wrong note. Like, it's just, yeah. Uh, and on I, a drum, you got this thing right here. It, 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 it might not be like a perfect rim shot or a perfect, but yeah. you know, you can, you can make that little mistake. <laughs> and sometimes you could, you could feel it a lot depending on the, on the kind of music and style, but you generally got something this big to hit, you know, a oh, symbol. Yeah, it's like exactly. this big, you hit a symbol, bang, all the way down. Yeah. It's yeah. Nice. You can do it with yeah. your eyes closed and move around. And yeah. same thing, like, you don't need to worry about what key the song is in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so uh, being on the drums for me in a band is just like the, 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 to in in my opinion it, for my personality being the drummer on stage is absolutely the best position in the band to be so much fun i i do miss being like 
I really miss being on stage with that band. I don't miss moving every day, but if I could just like teleport and like just be on stage for that hour and then teleport back home, oh man, I would love touring, but uh, being being sick in the back of a van for months, I mean, you're still with your friends and it's awesome, but that's like um, the majority of time that you spend touring is, is uh, being sick in a van. <laughs> 